there, fella. How are you? I'm good. Welcome back. It's great to be here. How is how is all in? It's great. Still still all in? We're still all the way in there. All right. <laughs> we haven't left. What are you like uh, tonight? What are you all in on? Uh, on all in. What, we're, where where we're, are the chips riding tonight? They're probably riding on the uh, Paul Manafort trial. He's a man who I'm for, familiar with his work. He worked yes. for the man. Uh, he worked. Sure. He worked yeah. for the president of the United States. Yes. He's got. Some... He looks like a maitre d at a mafia themed <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> uh, yes. So, so. Okay, we'll get it's to that. Like in a one cheap second. stereotype. We'll get to that in one second because I know there's big, there's yeah. big stuff right there. First, I want to ask you about the Don uh, Jr. tweets. That yes. President Trump over the weekend, uh, 48 tweets. Lots is of it, tweets. Is this a record? Is this a record? I think it is. I'm not. I I don't keep the books on the tweets. Okay. But based on my reading, of the people who do, it's yeah. it's up there. It's but you up follow there. the tweets. Oh, I follow the tweets. Okay. Yeah, I don't have though. A key thing, I think, to, like, cleanse mental toxicity in your life is don't have push notifications of tweets from the president. Meaning don't, 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 don't make your, your phone vibrate when it There happens. are people, I watch people in my industry be like, show their, like, they'll take a screenshot of the phone and they have push notifications for every tweet from the president. Mm -mm. It's like, do not do that to yourself. No. Like, 623, I'm getting my kids ready, I'm having a cup of coffee, like, I don't need that. Why do you think they do that? Is because they want to be the first person to say, this is crazy. Or they... <laughs> yes. <laughs> just... Really, right? They want to be, it's, there's a certain prize in the news business, certainly to say the first one to go, did you see this? I, I think there's like a weird, it sometimes feels like we're all pigeons or rats in some stimulus response experiment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That like he's running. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like but he's also in it. Well, that's what's. Uh, he's king rat. <laughs> he's king rat. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. He know yeah. Yeah. He's like because that's you know, it's funny. He has he is the most extreme example of that kind of compulsive need for stimulus response. Hence the 48 tweets. Sure. The guys on vacation. Like there's other stuff to do. Like, delete Twitter off your phone. You're the president of the United States. Like, you want to? What kind of meal do you want to have? Mm -hmm. What kind of activity? How can like? you tell that he's on vacation because he's golfing and tweeting? <laughs> I know. At one of his properties. At one of his properties. That's what he. Yeah. That's what he does. This is like day 137 or something of him doing that of his presidency. On, on Friday, I was on Friday. He was. You know, he tweets Fox programming on delay because he DVRs Fox programming. Sure. Which itself is like that sentence is like I find depthlessly sad. Like. Yes. <laughs> And it takes DVRs, him a while Fox programming. It's like, whew, yeah. whew. It takes him a little while for him to transcribe with his thumb exactly what <laughs> exactly. they're saying. Exactly. But he was at, at one point. It was like on Friday. I was getting ready for the show. It was around seven o'clock, and he was tweeting the five p.m. show on Fox. And I was like, oh well, summer Fridays. Like he's just knocking off early, and he's in Bedminster. He's got the super DVR lined up, and he's doing it. Like that's that's the fun part for him. Do you think that he's tweeting this much right now merely because he's off the chain with his handlers, or because he feels the walls closing in? That there is a sense that with the Manafort thing, with Giuliani absolutely going off on the rails on every interview he does, yep. with uh, him t uh, saying that there's collusion. <laughs> yes. That do you think that there's a sense of? It yeah. feels like it's a panicky level. Of it tweeting. does. It does. They feel panicky. I think it's a combination of both. I think that everyone's sort of given up trying to stop him from doing this, including his lawyers. Uh -huh. I think he also, he's one of these people that feels it's like so much of the Trump experience are like bad Jedi mind tricks, where he feels like if he gets in front of you, he can change your mind <laughs> about something. Well, and just, we and just, last so week. he thinks, well, if I tweet it, if I tweet it, that's going to solve all my problems. I'm going to tweet my way through this and tweet my way out of it. Well, the word, the word is that he wants to actually go around his lawyers to testify directly right. to Robert Mueller because he thinks he can talk Robert Mueller <laughs> into believing that Mueller's yeah. investigation is a witch hunt. Yes. <laughs> like, Mueller is going to walk out of there and be like, well, he was, I, I, he was right. But we have and you to know go. What? And you know what? I, th I, th I think <laughs> that convinced. he's right. You should do that, Mr. President. I think you could. <laughs> I also, I support it. You think it. so? You support Absolutely. that? Absolutely. 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 Is there, a, is there a Trump story you dislike covering? Because he's, he, is, he does swallow the news cycle every day. What, what, what don't you want to cover? You know, there's a lot of... I, I am over palace intrigue stories about the Trump White House. What do you mean, like who's I mean, in, like who's, who's up, out. who's up, and who's down? Who is on the outs? Who's on the ins? Who is he, who is he favoring? Who is he angry at? It's like I don't care. But the last person care. in the room is the last person in the room with the president is the person who sets policy for the rest of us. Right. Why so, you care? so that that part of it is the part I care about. But what what you end up getting, I feel like, is a certain kind of. I think those stories 
unavoidably have a kind of perspectival empathy to them, which Perspecti is like... Perspectival. 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 Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize I was taking the, <laughs> I was taking the SATs today. You need to write today. that down. Okay, yeah. perspectival. Yeah. Perspectival. <laughs> I'm going to see if that's a word. I'm not sure that's a word, but go ahead. I just walked into a running yeah. joke for the next five minutes. Fixilating. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's, the, the point being that they, the, those stories, I think, can't but align themselves in this kind of empathetic view with the person who's like down or on the outs. And it's like, I don't, like you signed up for this. This is what, these are the most powerful people in the world right now. And the decisions they make are incredibly important for people, whether it's a five-year-old from Ecuador who's not gonna see his mom, or it's folks that might not get healthcare, or it's people who are gonna be adversely affected by Supreme Court rulings. Like, I don't care. I don't care if people are like bummed out because they're getting yelled at or having bad days. No, but it makes me feel good. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about Manafort. Let's talk about Manafort here. So what happened? Because right as we were getting ready to come out here and do the show, I understand some of the testimony came out uh, with uh, uh, Rick Gates was on the stand The star today. witness, this is Manafort's longtime deputy in his private political consulting enterprise. He was then his deputy on the campaign. He was then on the transition, and then he stayed with the Trump Alliance Super PAC, and he gets on the stand. In the so this guy is absolutely un unalterably attached to the Trump administration. Exactly. You can't say he wasn't part of it. Never, never met the guy, yeah. right? Like, he stayed on after Manafort got too hot mm -hmm. in, in, in August. He stays on. He's there for the transition. And he gets up there and he says, like, literally the question is something like, did you do crimes? And he's like, yeah, we did lots of crimes. <laughs> like, that, I, 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 that's almost verbatim the exchange. It's like, are you a crime dude? It's like, I'm a, yeah, I'm a crime dude. Like, we're, <laughs> we're, into, we're like hella into crimes. That's basically that the sense. testimony. Uh, and who told you to do the crimes? It's like, Manafort told me to do the crimes, but then I did some crimes on my own. That's the other funny part about it, because the, the, the defense's uh, theory is that this guy, who's the, the government's star witness, uh, is unreliable, so the, the, the prosecutors had to get ahead of that. So not only were they doing crimes together, they were collaborating in hiding income and secret bank accounts and all that stuff. Um, Gates was also stealing from Manafort. <gasps> wow. Which is a thing that happens when you're, like, spending a lot of time around criminals like right that's <laughs> no honor among thieves no right. honor among thieves so they had to they had to kind of get out ahead of the derogatory information it's so funny and manafort's <laughs> offense is i had to do crimes because all my previous crime money was stolen by the other criminal <laughs> your honor i'm the victim i'm really? the victim yeah okay Anything else? Like, what's, what, what, uh, and that was it. That was, that's the takeaway. That's the big one right there. That's, the, I mean, the big one is, you know, it's a culmination of a lot of testimony that makes you, makes it quite clear. And I this think. is the first member of an, the Trump campaign team or transition team or anyone associated after he was uh, in office to say. To stand on the stand and say, yes, I am a criminal. I committed crimes. And the president of the United States campaign manager, the guy who came in at this crucial moment who, got him to the convention and organized him as the sort of nominee, the standard bearer of the Republican Party. That guy is a criminal, and I know that because me and him did crimes together. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you think it, do you think it, do you think, do you think this has, uh, do you think this, and I, it's strange to even say, do you think this, this story has legs? <laughs> <laughs> well, because, because, I know, I know. It's because, hilarious. Because, like, I know. he did, over the weekend, admit to collusion. Yeah. Yeah. And we're all like, yeah, 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 we know. So... <laughs> well, I think, I actually think in a weird way, I mean, I think it does, actually. Uh, I, I think part of it, part of that depends on what Gates knows and what he says over and above what happens in this trial. Uh -huh. it, part of it depends on how the president reacts. We've mm -hmm. seen that sometimes the president, as in firing Comey, reacts in ways that end up hurting him more in the long run, so mm -hmm. we'll see if this panics him. Um, I, I think it has legs because I think there are still many more facts yet to come out uh, about this whole enterprise. It's, it's a shady group of people. Yeah. It's a shady group of people, and at a certain point, you know, you, you're best assuming the worst. <laughs> and people are waiting for Manafort to flip. People are waiting for Manafort to flip, although I, I, I don't think, if he hasn't flipped at this point, I don't see him flipping. I mean, I think well, he's... Some people flip when they realize they're, they're not only are going to jail, but they're going to jail for like 305 years. Then they go, um, could I see that menu again, please? <laughs> <laughs> I think I would like some dessert. I actually, uh... I actually yeah. feel like, uh, flipping. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, looking forward to your show tonight. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very me. much. All In airs weeknights on MSNBC. Chris Hayes, everybody. We'll be right back with Rob Gordon.